Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time it's Pier 555 with 1,256 rating versus Rico 811 with 934 rating, so it's going to be another high rated DB video, but before we hop in, I wanted to say a few things. Uh, first of all, shout out to Senpai Shoes, YGO Lab, uh, he gave me like a shout out in his video yesterday or like midnight last night. Um, so I wanted to give a quick shout out to him, link to his uh, channel down below in the description. Also about the tournament I talked about, um, I had a few people ask like what are the prizes, uh, since it's like, a, it's like a YouTuber. Also, instead of just having it as like a YouTuber tournament, I want to have it as a YouTuber slash competitive event. Like competitive players, kind of like how Konami did, like half competitive half YouTubers, but I also want the YouTubers to be competitive, because, like, this is a competitive channel. Uh, I'm going to release what the winner is going to get either tomorrow or the day after that, and then I'm going to release, like, all the info on the tournament, but stay tuned for the next couple days to see that, and let's hop right into the video. We're going to see Pier 555 win the rock, paper, scissors, shoot, 40 versus 40, the opening hands is called by a galaxy soldier, a assault sword, whoa, a assault sword, a assault core, I'm dumb, ghost ogre, and union hanger. Um, union hanger is obviously, like, really good in this deck. Um, and, like, the one called by two. And then he has Oliver, Spell Striker, Durandal, Gearfried, and Renaud. So he has no hand traps, that's not a good sign. Uh, he's going to start off with Hanger. His hand's like all extenders though. So it's not bad. Just no hand traps. Union Hanger, add B. And then Normal B, Hanger effect goes off. Equip Driver. And then Driver effect. Equip A. And then A unequip itself. And then Links into Union Carrier. That's interesting. Because he already has Galaxy Soldier, so he's probably going to use this to equip, like, A or B from deck to his ABC Buster to make it protected by something. Um, he's going to use B and A, so he adds back B from Grave and adds C from deck. Then discard C, summon Galaxy Soldier, and then Galaxy Soldier to add another one. Then discard B, bring out this Galaxy Soldier. Goes in the Nova. I think it's actually cool that like Insector went over like the Photons or the Galaxies, whatever it was. Because like Insectors, I think are like a really cool deck. I didn't get to play in that format. I started playing 2013, right when Sandgang got banned. So like I did experience some of the Insectors, but I was like 11 years old and playing Chaos Dragons. So never really got to experience it. Makes Infinity... Banish A, B, and C from Graves, summon out ABC Buster. Also, with the Metal Foe support, I haven't seen it yet, but I know Insectors work well with that. So, it's cool that like they're all getting support at the same time. Union Carrier on ABC to equip A, so now it's unaffected by monster effects. Set Called By and Pass, draws Connector. Like, whoa. This hand is just all Extenders. Like, this is a starter... Extender, 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 because this can grab red layer. Yeah, he's gonna activate Durandal, and Durandal, our fire flint lady, but red layer to put like a big monster for the Aqua Dolphin. But he's gonna ogre the Durandal effect, which is interesting. Um, he probably could have saved ogre for a sold, right? Like everyone always falls for it, especially game one. Normal summon connector effect. That's going to bring out Aqua Dolphin and Aqua Dolphin effect. Yeah, he's just going to let it go through because this has more attack. And he takes five. He's going to special summon out Gear Freed by banishing Durandal. He could have summoned this. Then he would have used ABC Buster. Or. Like, he has this big thing on board. He uses Aqua Dolphin, Chain Buster, Banish Gear Freed. Now he's going to use Buster to Banish Gear Freed. Um, link into a Soul. The Soul effect to search. Let him add Red Lair. 
You always just let that effect go through. And then on the second effect, this is the one that you whack him on. Send four. And then chain infinity effect. He's going to use sword. Banish two, add it back. And then summon Oliver by discarding. And special summon Renaud. Renaud effect. That's going to add back a living fossil. Then... This is actually crazy, like, this might just be full combo. He's going to target Striker, lets it go through. Then makes Needle, Needle effect, bringing out Plague. Man, this called by him Plague could be big, depending on, like, how this turn goes down. This, this is kind of, like, intense, because, like, will the called by stop combo? Or is he just going to full combo and it be game? Or does he like forget about a assault core, like making this unaffected by monsters? So link cross, bring out the tokens and go for metal, metal effect. Oh, please target Oliver. Like targeting Plague there, would be like a like a double hit, because he'd be hitting Plague, which would be the summon off metal, and then he wouldn't be able to summon itself back. So bring out Oliver, then goes into another needle. Then he's going to go in the formula. And formula should draw gamma. This is, uh... I feel like this is done wrong. Yeah, for sure done wrong. Because... I don't Like, he had a way to, like, set up a herald. Had to have. Like, with all those on board... Had to have had a way to do a Herald, then the Mechum Phantom Beast. Goes for the Mechum Phantom Beast, use that effect, bring out tokens. Then he's going to go into Power Tool. Okay, okay, so he's not on VFD. This is, this is level 4, by the way, because it's brought back with metal. Um. He's going to banish two add back blade, power tool, grab DDR, and I think that's going to be too much to play through. Called by on the plague. Uses the Mechum Phantom Beast effect, the first effect, the pop infinity, and then admits defeat. Was he not able to use power tool? Dang. So that was unfortunate. His combo was... Not that great. Like, that That definitely could have been done differently. Like, 100%. But moving on to game two, we're going to see Infernoble go first. The opening hand for ABC is A, Assault Core, Valor, A, Assault Core, Ash, and Imperm. Do you guys remember when this guy hit down the one? Like, Konami just hates ABC. Like, Holy, like A Assault Core, and then ABC Buster. You guys don't like this deck. Terraforming Hit, and he has Connector, Called by Gamma, Connector, Nip. So his hand is very weak. Like, very, very, very weak. He's going to Normal Summon, use the effect. He's going to Chain Imperm. He's doing that to play around Talons and Called by. Uh, but mainly Talons. Then he's going to Set Called by, Pass, Draws Nib. Normal summon A and just beat over. I remember this deck versus Trickstar. It was kind of wild. Passes, draws Gamma. Normal summon Connector, uses Effect. He's going to chain Valor. Oh, he's going to chain Called by. And he's going to be able to rip the Ash out of hand. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Aqua, rip the Ash out of hand, burn for five. But he still has to play versus Nib. He's going to summon a soul to affect the ad since he knows the hand. The ad's gear freed. And then a soul to affect the send. Send Durandal, bring out Renaud. And then Renaud effect, that's going to add Durandal. Then use Durandal, Durandal to add Renaud. That was, that felt like a weird line of play. Yeah, and then he's just going to pass. Huh. 
That really was like a weird line of play. I guess there was like no putting gear feet on board without getting hit with nib. Normal summon A. He's gonna turn those into Union Carrier. He's gonna get both the A effects. Oh, that's so free. Like, that's actually so free. Then discard A, bring out Galaxy, then Galaxy effect, add Galaxy. Then discard A, bring out another Galaxy, overlay into Nova. That's his that's A, and that's his fifth summon. He's gonna get hit with Nib here. Oh, wait. Um, can you bring out ABC Buster off of this? I know it's a Machine Fusion. Honestly, I'm not sure. Like, does it say it has to be special summoned like a certain way? Because if it doesn't, this is just ABC Buster on board. Nope, doesn't summon it. Maybe he's thinking like if he summons ABC Bust. Nah, nah, he's not thinking anything. He just can't do it if he's not doing it. 100%. Special summon Gear Freed by banishing. Yeah, he's missed a feat because he knows there's right on there. Uh, moving on to game three, we're going to see ABC go first. Opening hand is Union Hanger. Desires Union Hanger. Oh, this card's really good. Um, reactivation. Like, holy. You target one machine you control, equip an apo appropriate machine union monster from your hand or deck to that monster. Uh, but then it can't be unequipped that turn, the union, but that's okay. Because you can equip Driver with this, which will let you unequip, or you can equip, like, A in response to Gamma. This card's really cool. And then Called By, hey, open Called By again. And he has Pinkertops, Rota, Durando, Red Lair, Oliver. So his hand's good. No hand traps, but definitely solid. Um, if there was like a Gamma in this hand, it would be a lot better. But like he would have the card to play around Gamma. Union Hanger, add B. Then Normal Summon B, Hanger Effect, equip Union Driver. And then Union Driver Effect, equip A. And then A effect to unequip, and then link into Union Carrier. So you're gonna get B and A to add B, and then add C. And then Union Carrier to equip Photon Orbital to it, and then Photon Orbital effect. That's gonna add Galaxy Soldier. It's very, very, very good. It's a way to like, your engine can do this play every single game. And then, like, Galaxy Soldier also just, like, works with the deck. Soldier effect. Add Soldier. Discard B, summon out Soldier. And then go for Nova. Then go for Infinity. Uses Desires. Banish 10. We'll look at those in a second. Draws A and C. Not good draws. Um, oh, he's playing Gold Gadget. Interesting. Cool thing about, like, uh, Valor being a light in this deck is, like, you can Galaxy Soldier get rid of it. Like, uh, I played uh, Cyber Dragon Orcus at a regional, and I, I won with it in the last round. I knew I was playing against Guru since, like, I sat next to him in the round before. So when I used my Galaxy Soldiers, like, my opening hand when I played against the Guru guy was, like, Galaxy Soldier, like, two nibs. And I was like, well, nibs are free discards. So I just got them out of my hand and kept the Cyber Dragons. Banish A, B, and C. So it's, like, a cool use that, like, this also has with the deck, with, like, the hand traps, too. Make A, B, C, set called by, set unauthorized. Um, he can set that because he has infinity. I guess the opponent would have to have, like, Imperm Nib. Uh, draws Durandal. Not a good draw. He's going to activate Durandal. Target infinity and then effect to add Renaud. Rhoda. That's going to add Connector. And then Normal Summon Connector effect. He could have summoned Red Blade before. Which would make this a lot more threatening. Brings out Aqua Dolphin and Aqua Dolphin effect. He's just gonna let this go through. Like, this is just a sold, and like he stops the sold. So he doesn't have to stop this. 
Because it's not going to rip a hand trap out of hand. Like, if he had Valor or Ash or something, it would have been used on Connector. Um, make a soul, then a soul to add Spell Striker. Not respecting Ogre after seeing it game one, by the way. That's not smart. That's how you lose the game. I, I go over this on the channel all the time. You don't want a soul effect when you don't have to. Like, he did it there just to get a Spell Striker to hand. That he's going to do nothing with this turn. Nothing. It's like a it's a follow-up warrior on board for next turn. But if he gets ogre, he doesn't make it the next turn. A soul effect to send four, infinity negate. Special summon out red layer. ABC Buster to banish it so that way you can't summon Renod. Then special summon out Pankratops. Sword, banish two to add itself back. Get rid of sword to bring out Oliver. And special summon Renaud, Renaud effect to add Living Fossil. And then Pankratops effect. Um, he used it on Infinity, and then he's going to chain Unauthorized to equip A to Infinity to make it unaffected by monster effects. And then he's going to go in the Needle, Needle effect, that's going to bring out Plague. Okay, no, 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 so he used Pankratops to target the set. I wish, like, the replays would, like, show you what they target, like, the set or something, because, like, I'd have to go on the logs to see. So he used Pankratops on the set, and then he chained Unauthorized on Infinity. Yeah, that makes more sense. So why would you Pankratops pop Infinity there? Uh, Living Fossil, bring out Renaud. Then he's going to go into Metal... And then metal effect, bring out all over. I've had questions about this too. Renaud is not a tuner. Like so many people ask about that. Like it's not a tuner. It's only a tuner if it's summoned from hand. Gets rid of needle for link cross. Then link cross effect, bring out tokens. The called by. Is the called by going to be enough to stop the turn again? Make roll in, roll in effect. Sword at itself back by banishing two. Plague called by on it. Then he's gonna make Harold. Then Charles. Yeah, yeah, like called by is enough to stop his turn. Like, what is this? Full combo gets stopped by called by. Like, needle combo, at least I should say. Um. Tag ABC, and then ABC tag out, and then you can hang your target. This is the game. Like, this is... If anyone has ever played ABC and has used ABC Buster Dragon to tag out, I swear, whenever you tag out, it feels like game. Uh, you can hang your equip B. Uh, Charles beat over Infinity. I played this at a regional before. I forget exactly what place I got, but I know I got top 8. And I only lost one round. A add C. And I remember my opening hand against the, against the Cosmo guy was crazy. Or not Cosmo, Metal Foes. I opened up like Anti-Spell, Strike, D-Barrier, Union Hanger, Desires, or Brilliant. Something insane. Like I was playing the Brilliant Engine. This was a long time ago. Then Charles equip, and then Charles pop infinity, because uh, he attacked over it to make the A fall off, draws talons, B to unequip, um, then he's going to turn all those into Appalooza, alright, he's going to get C, A, and B, to summon C from hand, add A, and then add C, and then link in the phoenix, Phoenix and C to pop, summon, draw, then go in the unicorn, unicorn and C. Like, I'm just trying to keep going, but there's so much going on. Like, holy, he would have done that, and then he would have went to, like, access code, access code A, and then, like, upstart. There's just so much. Like, he had, like, Roland to equip, but, like, Appalooza and the gate Roland. And then game. That was interesting. Um, you guys wanted to see Pure back on the channel, the ABC player. 
And also, you guys have been asking to see a lot more Infernal, but you guys have been liking this deck a lot. I like the VFD build more than this one. Um, honestly, I don't even know what like build this is. I feel like this is like the old build. Like, you either gotta be going for VFD or you gotta go for Herald then Needle combo. Like, you gotta decide on one of those. Because if you're going for a combo like this still, like, uh, you know, you're too predictable. And it's, like, too easy to stop. Like, called by stopped you game one and three. Which is actually kind of nuts. Especially because, like, it's a one of any drew at game one and three, too. Uh, but that's gonna be it for the video. Like I said, subscribe to Senpai Shoes YGO Lab. Um, shout out to him again, and then I'll have the tournament stuff up on the channel within the next couple days. I gotta make a tournament winner map, that's gonna be interesting, but yeah, comment down below what the prize support should be for the tournament too, by the way, because it's, it's just gonna be first place that gets prizes, it's gonna be a top 8 tournament, first place gets prizes, the reason why it's not top 16 is because if I post every game, and it's top 16, that's 15 games, our matches, instead of where it's top 8, which would be 7. Um, and I would use it as like a second upload for the channel. I, I don't know, I, I think top 8 would work out a lot better. I don't want to post a bigger tournament. Um, and if you're interested in joining in that tournament, and you're a content creator or a competitive player, just comment down below or message me on DB and we can talk about it. Um, but that's going to be it for the video. Like, comment, and subscribe. The DB Grinder signing off. Peace.